Throw up the block up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah, yeah. Better yeah. off the worst, I took the good with I'm the bad, yeah. yeah. I done took a ride in the hell, that one I done took a roll down, where to kill me. To another episode of Lit Podcast, you know how I do it. I bring you the hottest artists, the legendary artists, the up and coming artists, and everything in between. That means poetry writers, book writers, that means producers, that means entrepreneurs. You know, you get it, you get it. But today, you know what I'm saying? Y'all better make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all jump in that live chat too when this go full video. You know what I'm saying? When the full interview come out. I be in the live chat. Oh yeah, we be getting lit. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you roll up. You already know. Make sure you smoke the finest CBD you can find out there. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Get the finest of the CBDs or the THCA or you know what I'm saying? All that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? But today, you know what I'm saying? I got a special guest. You know what I'm saying? Coming all the way to rock with Lit Podcast with your host, your host, my bag. And I don't know why I can't speak, but your host, Mr. Lawton in the building. You know what I'm saying? And I got my boy Cruz in the goddamn building. What's what up, do, Cruz? What What's up with it, man? No, much, man. It. Appreciate you having me on the show, man. Man, no, I appreciate you for coming through, man. We got lots to talk about today. We got a lot of grounds to cover, for sure, man. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you one of the young ones up and coming. You know what I'm saying? So we yeah. a lot of people don't know we got a mentor the young ones, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, they out there, they out there bad today, you know what I'm saying? But shoot, Man. hey, we all was out there bad. We all yeah. have to find our way, and that's what life is about, you know what I'm saying? Finding mm -hmm. your way. And today we finna find our way and get to know Cruz. For the people out sure. there who don't know Cruz, y'all finna get to know Cruz. Cruz, for the ones who don't know, please let them know where you from and your full name, you know what I'm saying, your producer name, everything you go by. Yeah, well, everybody calls me Cruz, you know what I'm saying? On the shirt, Roman numeral seven. But that the seven is silent. You know okay. what I'm saying? It's just you know something I use what, like what, what, symbolism. How the seven silent? Well, I mean, it, it it's just a you know. So how you pronounce like a, it? It's just cruise. Just cruise. Yeah. Well, with a seven. Yeah, in front of it, Roman numeral seven. And it's silent. Yeah. <laughs> Man, no, no, no. True story. A guy, you know what I'm saying? To come, you know, at the job I work at, his name is Zion. Okay. But it's with a T. The T is silent. <laughs> What's up with this silence though? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just I, I can never pronounce it. People say V I I or you know what I'm saying? But you know, it just sounds weird. It's just me. seven crews. Well, technically, yeah. But it's really it's really crews. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so Tell it, so where you yeah. from? And I, yeah, let's yeah, let's continue. Well, yeah. I was born in Parkland, Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Parkland High School. Okay. Yes, sir. Grew up in Oak Cliff. Yeah. Okay, okay. Up there by uh, 35 in uh, Camp Wisdom. In Camp Wisdom. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Shit. Yeah, yeah, Parkland, dirty as hell. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to all the Parkland babies. I'm a yeah, Parkland, shout baby. Out to all the Parkland baby. Shout out to the Parkland baby. I'm a yeah, Parkland baby. That's what you baby. get for coming in the dirty. <laughs> say, hey man. Hey, say it is. Parkland, oh, but Parkland, now Parkland and upscale. They don't got the new hospital. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They over there, uh, close by South by South. I mean, uh, Southwest and on the other side though. You know, so they always oh, yeah, been yeah, close, they, but mm -hmm. they closer. But um, they uh. Yeah, it's, it's, gotta have a meeting. Yeah, it's symbolic. It's symbolism. It, it represents um my my um uh, uh, what would you call it? Um, my journey into finding up. Finding about you know the world, the truth, and you know just researching you know about just just civilization, you know man, okay. mankind stuff like that. Just diving into into the, the the information, you know what I'm saying. Just going down the rabbit hole of yeah. finding out where where we all come from, what you know what right. I'm saying, what religions about. And then you realize and, it's a real rabbit hole, ain't it? Yeah, it's a real rabbit you hole. You know, know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> and uh, for me, it took me to the Roman Empire. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, with uh, ancient Egypt and, and the Romans and stuff. You know, it just it was something that I, you know, connected with, and I just felt like it was something that I had to put into my music. You know, and okay. you know, I make music to 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 speak the truth and you know put a message out, convey okay. the truth. So. Already. Yeah, yeah, that's that's where the Roman numeral seven came from, and, and yeah, I just you know just been using it, and I 
I I, I uh, resonate with the number seven. Okay. So that's my that's my number. But let me ask you this question: number. How do it stand for some if it's silent? Like well, is it is that like one of the things where it say like if a tree fall in the woods, can anybody hear it? Like, <laughs> Nah, it, it's just one of them things, like, if, if people know, like, you know, what, because some people don't even know what Roman numerals are, nah, you know facts, what I mean? Facts. Uh, but there's some people that immediately are like, is that a seven? And I was like, yeah. Right. So it's, it's just one of them things where if you know, you know, nah, you know what I mean? Facts, facts. Yes. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. Yeah, definitely going to ask, because I yeah. want to know why it's silent. Why is the number seven? You know what I'm saying? Is it lucky? Have it brought you luck? Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. Already. Mm -hmm. Already. So, music. Yep. What drew you to becoming a producer? What, like, like, first of all, for, no, let's, let's backtrack. What, how was your upbringing? You know what I'm saying? And how your upbringing introduced you to music? Right. Well, I feel like I had a pretty good upbringing. I had both my parents in my life. Um, and we had a lot of family members. And some of our family members were in music um, growing up. You know, my uncles and my cousins, they were, like, in bands and groups and stuff. And they were playing, you know, parties and stuff. So I would always go and see them. And I was just grew, I grew up in a musical, like, household. But not, like, in my household. It was just, like, my family. Right. Like, I'm the only one that does music in my immediate family. Like my brothers and sisters, they don't really do it. Um, but uh, but yeah, like you know, I've always had that passion for music. When I was young in elementary school, I uh, picked up the drums. That was my first instrument. And um, even before then, um, I would like go over to my my uncle's house, and he would always have like pianos and stuff. He was a piano player for the group, and so I'd always go and mess mess around with the piano, and he would show me, you know, how to play the piano a little bit. But he wasn't like classically trained. Everything he knew, it was kind of like. He would do like cover songs, so he just knew All like, time. yeah, he just knew like the cover song stuff. But, but yeah, that's how you know I got yeah, into music and stuff. Yeah, you the shit when you know how to do cover songs. <laughs> you know how I, I thought I was the shit when I learned how to play uh, uh, Drew Hill or that Cisco. Uh, what was that? These are the times we always fall. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when I say what say, when I when I learned that motherfucker, I said, I'm finna serenade me a bitch. <laughs> I'm just bullshit. I, I just, I was shit. I ain't never, I, shit, I forgot how to play that shit. <laughs> but, this, but, but, you know, it, that's, that's good being self taught, you know, self taught. You yep. know, and, and and then like you know, learning some uh, another person's music and, and taking it somewhere else to, you know, up your skills. I mean, I think that's where we all kind of grow as a producer. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you always hear something, you want to remake it, and then try to put your take on it and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. he's talking about your uncle having pianos and things like that. So like, mm -hmm. what was it? What was you just all about? Like. Real instruments, like after that, like say I want to, I want to be real instrument. I want to play yeah, for a yeah. band or what? What was? Yeah, it? I was a, I was a musician. You know, before I started um, going, going on the computer with it, um, I was part of the band in middle school um, <coughs> and in high school. What band you was part of? Uh, I was in uh, the Big D band at Townview. So, okay, Big D yeah. band at, at Townview. Yeah, shout out shout to Townview. Out. Yeah, shout out Townview. <laughs> Mr. Hill, you know what I'm saying? He was yeah. my instructor, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah, shout out Mr. Hill. That's a legend, man. Yeah, he, man. He, he done touched a lot of kids out here, you know yep. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he done showed a lot of kids the way, and that's a great school, too, to go to as well. Yep. All right, so how did the band thing go? Uh, Right there, I mean, it, it was it was a learning experience. I learned a lot. Um, I got a lot of uh, insight on... You know, just taking it more to to a new new level, um, mm. especially with Mr. Hill. He's, he was all about discipline and um, consistency. Right. You know what I mean. So if it's, it's something that you really wanted, like you really got to work towards <clears throat> improving. You right. know what I mean. And so, what, so what was the, some of the things, the major things he taught you that stuck with you? Uh, I think it was just you know, like I said, the discipline um, and. And really wanting it, you know what I mean? Like, like in uh, that movie uh, Drumline, mm -hmm. when that dude he was like trying to battle that other guy to get a better spot right. in the Drumline. That's, that's how it was. That's like how it was, was very competitive, you know, because everybody wanted to be the best. 
you know, in the band. Have you ever did the drum line scene? Uh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> do you think you can do the drum line scene? Uh, if I practice, maybe. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I'm about to say, I'll meet you out there. I know you've been there. I know you know how to play drums. <laughs> I'll put you to the test. <laughs> anyway, the... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then drop that stick on you. Clap. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but so like, what what groups was you a part of? What, did y'all groups ever, you know, tour? Did y'all ever go do locally? Uh, Are you perform? talking about like my family? No, your or... band. Like, did oh, you have a band? Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I've i always been either you're, part you're of just a... just play in a band. Yeah, okay. I, I just play in a school band. All right. But you never um, ever made a band. N- well... I was a DJ um, around the same time I was in high school. That's when I first started really like picking up uh, a lot in in music, and, and I took uh, took the chance to or took the risk in in becoming a DJ. And so I started going to like different house parties and doing like weddings and quinceañeras and stuff okay. like that. Yeah, them quinceañeras, so, man. They, I be man. I, I'm glad you brought up quinceañeras because <laughs> the quinceañeras, man, ain't the quinceañera. That's that's a grown folks party. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much liquor be at a Kinsey oh, yeah. yeah, we turned up. <laughs> yeah, we turned up a lot drinking. <laughs> every, every even at even at uh, any any party really like it could be a baptism, it could be a kid's three year old party. We always like <laughs> well, at a baptism. <laughs> Damn. Oh yeah, man, we get turned. We get turned. <laughs> Golly, man, that's I'm letting yeah, you shout know. Shout out to all the party animals. Yeah, let me know when the next party <laughs> is, man. <laughs> I'm trying to get turned. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, girl, I'm be all up in there. And, hey, man, it's going down. You know what I'm saying? So kids in the bounce house, we're you know over here saying? drinking. In the bounce house, drinking and everything. I'll be like, shoot, <laughs> cops come. I'm like, I don't know who kids those is. <laughs> 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 I made mean, my kids. He <laughs> said that boy shoot look like you. I said, no, he don't, officer. <laughs> Not at all. So, all right, so. Who, what was the influence in DJing then? Because, like, now you got so many. You got the music influence, the DJ, inf- DJ influence. Like, who was influenced you to even become a DJ? Uh, Really, it was like... Or the lack of resources. <clears throat> it, was, it was just the family members around me. It was a, mm-hmm. I had a cousin who was a DJ before I was. Right. And then I had an uncle um, who was also a DJ. And so I would just, like, see them do their thing. And I, I was inspired. And, and I wanted right. to, like, really get into the performance side of things. Right. I mean, I was in the band and, like... You know, I I made I made music at home and stuff, but I felt like I had to take it outside of the house and right. you know go go um, public with it. You know what I mean? Right. And, and start doing doing. And I I also saw it as a way to make some extra money. You know what I mean? You know, DJing. You know, I was getting paid pretty good for fifteen year old. I was charging like five hundred to a thousand dollars a party. Damn. Mm-hmm. You still do now? <laughs> I I do I do. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that's good. Shoot, mm-hmm. nah, we'll keep it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I haven't done any private parties lately. So oh. if y'all need a DJ, hit me up. Okay. Um, yeah. But I've been mostly in the clubs lately. You okay. know what I mean? So I've been DJing, but you know, clubs don't really pay a lot for for DJs yeah, unless you like known. Right. So yeah, but I heard you downtown DJing. Yep. yep. Well, yeah, club Dada. Yep. Out, yeah, out there in Deep Ellum. Yeah. Uh, OTR. Uh, where else? Elm Street Saloon. I've been to La Toxica. I've been to Bad Habits over there in uh, Oak Cliff. Uh, Hardy's Lounge. Okay. You know, I've just been all over the place. Okay. Yep. All right. Trying to making a name. Yeah, making a name for yep. yourself. <clears throat> so, what DJs besides your uncle and stuff that you learned your style or your technique from? Man, I was just practicing. You just, just practicing yourself. Yeah, nobody self-taught. watching nobody. Yep. YouTube so, videos. <laughs> what? So you want to you want to listen to no DJ Screw? You want to listen to you know like yeah I would listen to DJ uh, Premieres, all those. No, yeah, okay. I think it was. Yeah, I think it was uh, a little bit of everything. Just picking up um, what I heard, um, like you know what I've seen other people do. So I just kind of take take what they do, try to rep- replicate. Right, you know what right. I mean? So what, mu- what music you grew up listening to? Um, I grew up listening to a lot of uh, a lot of hip hop. Um, Spanish music, Latin music, um, really a little bit of everything. Right. Um, you know, R and B, techno, right. Right. Um, dubstep. What you gravitate to? Uh, gravitate to the most? Man, I love it all, honestly. Oh, okay. Yeah, like like when I DJ, I do Latin nights sometimes, or I'll do like um, hip hop nights, or I'm really trying to get into like the EDM right now. Okay. So a little bit of everything. Yeah, you say that EDM, that's that's where it's at. Yeah, yeah. I, I see, because they, they really be fucked up. Oh, yeah, they be nah, partying. No, nah, they fucked up when it's fo fo to the flow. <laughs> you know, when you fo fo to the flow, you know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? All you do, 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 
do 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 It's like damn, it's like the motherfucker ain't stopping. No motherfucker just in there, motherfucker just out of there, out of there. I'm like, what? Music's addictive, man. I don't know what it is, man. It's the frequencies, man. It is, but so you said it's 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 more popular out there in Florida, huh? Than it is. I hear like right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there, uh, I came back from Miami. I went out there and I checked out the scene, and they they do a lot of like uh, house music, EDM music in the clubs more so than than over here. Right. I feel like, um, but yeah, I kind of I kind of seen what it was like, and I came back with with that um, in mind to try to like <laughs> you know bring more EDM to the city. Man, man that's fucked up. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Ooh, that's some good gunpowder right there. Man, man Cruz did on <laughs> Cruz don't even know he just got them. He he he, he had a loss right now. Yeah, you know, he good. don't want to smoke. Good, man. You know what I'm saying? Nobody smoking with me and nothing on the podcast, you know, but it's all right because it's uh <laughs> You know what I'm saying, nigga, you know what I'm saying? It's more for me, goddamn me. You know what I'm saying? We go, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna cheat, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Under man, you, sorry, goddamn you, me, you, you understand it. me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Yeah, it. Let me turn you on to the, some of that, that original clip. Goddamn me, you understand yeah. me, you know what I'm saying? That stiff shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, so all right, so. So now, like, what is what is it like in the club, being in there and finding what music makes everybody hype? Because like you say, you got Latin night, you got hip hop night, you got this night. Like, what nights are the crunkest? And how do you tell? And what music do you know is the music you need to keep in your playlist at all times? You know what I'm saying? Um, and how hard it is. I'm talking about it. I got three part questions. I'm sorry. Probably nah, four good, part yeah. questions. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry because I'm I'm intrigued. Nah, I'm listening, yeah. You know, and like how do you, you know, slip in new music to even make them say, Okay, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm fucking with this. Man, I think it's just a matter of getting to, into the uh people's mindset, into the crowd's, you know, mindset and trying to get into that mode. And, and really, like, just peeping energy, just peeping, you know, what, what the people want, you know what I mean? Looking around at the room and see if people are vibing. If they're not, switch it up. Um, but for the most part, you know, just play what's hot, play the hits, you know. Um, listen to a lot of radio, listen to people's personal playlists, listen to, you know, other DJs. Um, I just pick pick up game from a little bit of everywhere, so I, I u utilize that information and I try to, you know, uh, create a good set and and a show for for the people. Right. So, so yeah. I mean, it, it, it's just a matter of just getting out there in the scene and just really being involved in what what I'm doing, and um trying to trying to see where I'm at so I can improve. And um, yeah, that's, I feel like that's that's the best uh, route or that, that's been helping me a lot. And what music or what genre of music brings more crowd? Bring a crowd. Um, well, yeah, in I'm Deep Ellum, I'm asking, goddamn it. In Deep Ellum, it's mainly hip hop and Latin dominated. So, a lot of hip hop music, a lot of Latin music. So, okay. so yeah. all right, that's yeah. what's up. And if you go to a different area, maybe like you know downtown Dallas, where right. they play a little bit more EDM stuff, and right, you know. So, so, so that. you you ain't, you ain't popping in no Britney Spears. Nah, nah, oh, nah okay. I ain't doing none of that. What about some Barry Manilow? Nah, I ain't doing none of that. Well, you ain't putting no very I mean, many low. I mean, I would play those uh, mm. artists, but it would have to be early in the night or or oh, late at night oh, when, when everybody's leaving. Well, damn, when they leave, then you play that type of me. What about what about some Sugar Ray? What about Sugar Ray? You know Sugar Ray? Yeah, it, it's just it's just the crowd. You know, they're a lot, it's a younger crowd out there nowadays. Mm. There ain't too many um, right. grown folk out there right. unless it's like I said early early in the night. Or, or, you know, late at night when everybody's already fucked up. It don't really matter what I'm playing. Okay. I mean? So are you deep into the DJing to the point to where you know how artists get paid if you spend their music or if you, how did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you do? Oh, okay. Yeah, I went to media tech. I learned a lot uh, okay. about music business and stuff like that. All right. Um, so you be in with the clubs when you do your playlist? Um, because don't the club got to, you know, they, cause they get surveyed by ASCAP, BMI, and CSEC, well, the, right? Well, the thing is... uh. My DJ software it automatically sends that that stuff because I I pay a subscription and so whatever music I use online uh, libraries and stuff uh -huh. like that so right. it, it automatically gets picked up. Okay, yeah. so that means so you can also help the culture out too, right? Oh yeah. So you can really have people 
put their music out correctly mm -hmm. and sit there and really DJ people and stuff and then yeah, turn so on a DJ pool to where you can pass on to yeah. your other DJ homies to make sure stuff spin and make everybody eating around the city, huh? Yeah, if it's on the DJ pool, I'll, I'll play it and it'll get it'll get picked up by the, the PROs and stuff. Yeah, we need to talk and all y'all people out there and the artists in the D, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need to talk. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to talk more with the DJs and really open up conversation and understand how it works, you know what I'm saying? So how mm -hmm. does it work too far as the artists coming to you too when they don't have their stuff out there correctly and then they bring in their, their song as far as a flash drive. We don't bring CDs anymore, but the flash drive and telling you to spin it. How how did that work? Do you charge them? Do like what, yeah, what, what do charge. you do you give them game? I mean like Yeah, we, we charge uh to get your get your song played because me as a DJ I already have my set playlist for the night. Like right. I already know what I'm playing. Mm -hmm. And um if I have to if I have to, you know, stop what I'm already got going on to play your stuff. You know, for one, it's got to be good, good quality. You know what I mean. Right. And another thing, it, it could be a hit or miss. You know what I mean. So I'm taking a risk by playing, you know, new artists because a lot of people don't really reciprocate new very well, or they don't really take in new stuff very well. It's, you right. know, you got to break, break the, break it a couple times, break the ice. Um, but um, but yeah, um, I would say like whenever you do perform your stuff at the club, um, to go ahead and 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 submit that uh performance to um. To, ASCAP. to ASCAP, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, for sure, for sure. They're like, um, some clubs, yeah, it, it just depends on like the night. If it's, if it's, uh, I've done, I've made this mistake before. Um, if it's hip hop night, you just play nothing but hip hop. Don't, don't veer off and play like EDM or don't veer off and play like, you know, Latin right. stuff. Um, like every night has a theme basically. And so the club owners they try to keep that in order because you know especially in Dip Ellum, there's a bunch of clubs and 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 bars there so you don't really want to like interfere with other people's crowds like that you know what I mean right because each club and bar they already have their set night set night set night, mm -hmm. set, set crowd that goes there so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. If I if I'm playing like you know Big Boogie, if I'm playing like B King, you know I'm not gonna just play some random new artist that comes up on stage. Cause, Rest in peace, B King. Yeah, R.I.P. B King. That's man. Straight Texas legend right there, mm -hmm. man. That's just that's 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 crazy how we losing so many people, man. Mm -hmm. Young, old, in between, like it's crazy, man. Yep. It just don't want just a moment of silence for everybody. That, um, then I lost a loved one, man. Mm -hmm. Everyone, all the legends, all that. I'm talking about from the from the from the beginning till now, you know. For real smoke one two times for that, but I'm glad you brought him up. So, you know, you yeah, you brought it, you you opened up a wound right there. Mm hmm Cause that boy, that boy, that man, not boy, let me get it right. That man sat there and made a whole lane for himself. Mm -hmm. He produced his own tracks. Yep. I I remember back when we was doing our music thing, he was everywhere. He don't care if it was a hole in the wall or if it was in front of uh, thousands of people. He was there working all the time. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, B King. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. B King. So for you as a DJ, knowing how these things work you know like what type of advice would you give artists on how to contact djs how to reach djs how to and and, and understand still how important djs are still to their career um for the most part um you know just going out where the djs are at in person or online uh you know I got Instagram, Facebook, all that, Twitter. Um, I usually take like a little QR code and, and put it on stage with me so people can scan it. Right. If they, you know, want to follow me or you know, DM, DM me about any any events they have. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, I would I would just say just just you know looking it up on on um because most clubs and, and stuff they they post like their social media like the, you know different DJs and stuff like the clubs that I go to DJ they uh -huh. post me on their page and stuff yeah so and you know just figuring out which clubs play whatever you like and you know hitting them up 
Yeah. And how do, how do you, I mean, what would you tell the artist on how to get in contact with DJs to make them a personal DJ? How can an artist make a DJ their personal DJ as well? Um, well, for me, you know, people just come up to me and ask if, if, uh, if I'm already like, you know, I guess quote unquote touring or if I'm with any artist. And, um, you know, even I had a rifleman tell me he wanted me to, to start DJing personally for him. So I was just like a matter of just going up to them and, and talking to them. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out Rifleman, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out Rifleman. God damn me downstream clicking this bitch, you yes, know sir, what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Real to real in this bitch, real you know real, what I'm yeah. saying? It's going down, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, they all know that 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 conglomerate, conglomeracy is big. Mm-hmm. It's full circle. What that boy, what that boy T Squeeze say? The circle you, yeah. <laughs> that circle yeah, you. Big old shit. family, yeah. It's a big old family. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what you what's coming out the gumbo pot. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Who knows who? Yeah, you don't know who know who. You know what I'm saying? We finna talk about that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So like, like we gonna go, we gonna come back to the DJ world because we got so much to talk about you because you oh, multi talent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You like me, you got a lot of hats. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know, back in my day, we used to have this book about this man and he wore hats he used to have so many hats <laughs> talk about it. almost went up to the sky he's walking around just using losing yeah, the hat losing yeah. the hat until he come back you know find all his hats he's just saying you know you got too many hats you know what i'm saying yep. and sometimes you got to know how to wear them you know <laughs> but anyway we're gonna go into production you you done did tracks for blowfly yep Rifle. Rifle man. Froze. Froze only. Let's talk about you got songs chopped up by Michael Watts. Yep. Shout out Swisher House. Shout out Swisher House. Not only that, let's talk about this Gator Man. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. <laughs> We gotta talk about this Gator Man. Yeah, so shout man, out Gator Man. I, so what it was like meeting Gator Man? So the first time I met him. Uh-huh. Uh, I pulled up to his studio, and um, he came in in a big ass truck. It was a lifted truck. Yeah, I was like, "Oh shit, that must be him." He got <laughs> out, man. That, that boy tall as fuck, man. I was like, "Man, he's taller than me." And I looked up to him. I was like, "What's up, Gator?" And he was like, "Oh, what's up, man?" He, you know, he was cool. You know what I mean? And we we went inside. And we we were in the studio, you know, and I was pretty much showcasing him, um, my music, the stuff I made. And he was very like real, you know what I mean. He, he kept he kept it real, and and it was the first time I ever met, uh, I guess you can say a local celebrity, right? You know, right. I mean, uh, artist, right? And um, it was cool. He gave me some feedback, mm. uh, and he actually told me he wanted me to be his like uh, head producer, executive producer there at the studio, right? But at the time, I was living in Houston, and uh, I told him that you know I would have to like move back in town to be able to do that, but I was down and stuff, so. Um, so yeah, like around that time, I ended up uh, moving back, and you know, thing things the he I guess he already filled the position, but you know it all worked out at the end because I ended up you know um, being more involved with with the with the circle right. and doing tracks with with everybody right here. You know what I mean? So right, but so, it was cool. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, it was good experience. I, I tell man. you what, you got up on that Gator belt. I tell you, the, yeah, you know, but the belt you wanted is good too. Everything at Dallas solid. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But just they 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 gave a cosign, but that boy a beast. Yeah, I tell you, hands down, that boy a beast. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I grew up uh, listening to a little bit of Gator. But yeah, I just yeah. never thought I'd ever meet him. In, right. You know what I mean, so that was that was that cool. Was, experience. Was, who who you grew up listening to in Dallas? Uh, I grew up listening to like Trap Boy Freddy, Trap Boy Freddy, Yellow Beezy. Uh huh. Um, who else? Um, surprisingly, I I heard uh Froze track without even realizing it. Um, bump this in your Cadillac. Yeah, yeah. Some so you music. working with a guy you didn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lil Will, grew up listening to to Lil Will. Um, okay. Who else? Um, what's that one song? Walk around the club. Fuck everybody. Yeah, yeah grew up. Oh can't man. See, can't talk. Man, I had some nights. Um, I had some stories uh, of that song. Yeah, yeah. Prince Lee and uh, Tri Lee and Trill, Prince Lee. Yeah. Yeah, truly. Yeah, a lot of Dallas right. artists. Uh, Young Nation. Yeah, you yeah know? Young Nation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that was the good old days right yeah. there, Young yeah. Nation. Yeah, Young Nation, yeah. They say, hey, they brought, what was that, Yums or whatever? They brought that. They, they brought light on that right there. Mm-hmm. But they still doing, they had did a retirement album or something like that. They were talking about they were giving it up, but then they still doing it, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to Young Nation, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Shout out to everybody who you missed. So how yeah. the hell you link up with Froze? 
only, and then don't even know that froze on. <laughs> man, uh, through Squeeze, man, shout out okay, Squeeze for, squeeze. for being okay. the plug. You know what I mean? And, and, okay. And, and introducing me to Froze. Yeah. I remember one day he was at uh, the studio, and and I pulled up, and they were both outside standing, and I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, who's this guy? And then Squeeze was like, man, I want you to meet my my cousin, uh, Froze. And then you know, I was like, what's up? And Froze just dabbed me up, and was right. like, what's up? You know, and and Squeeze talks about uh, highly of me to everybody because I'm the only I'm the only uh, Mexican in the circle, you know. Yeah. What I mean? <laughs> so, so he likes to he, he likes to type, talk well, about shit, me because you got some tight beats. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You DJing, you got yeah. your head on straight. You know what I'm saying? Like you come from a nice, you know what I'm saying, family oriented background. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you know where you're trying to go. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And like in everybody's circle, they need somebody who got structure. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And without structure, you know what I'm saying, and your foundation and shit, you pretty much you crumbling. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Are you are you barely struggling trying to get it? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, man, shout out to T Squeeze. How y'all two meet? Uh so I met uh Squeeze in college. Uh I was taking uh so after high school I went to Cedar Valley College right. and I was pursuing the music, you know, trying to further my 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 knowledge and, and and my career and and just what I knew so uh took some b music business class and and I met Squeeze there at, at the music business class okay. so so we uh we just you know linked up and at first I I didn't really know what to think about Squeeze you know what I'm saying I thought I thought Squeeze was just you know like like everybody else but then um I really got introduced to Squeeze um through my friend DA man RIP DA shout out to DA right, rest in peace. you know what I'm saying yeah. so so yeah, DA introduced me to him, um, cause him and Squeeze they were both from uh, Louisiana, you know. Okay. So they were they were close, they were tight. <coughs> and um, and then one day we were like smoking in the parking lot, and then Squeeze came up, and you know Squeeze is always about the green. So right, right. <clears throat> yeah, we got the green from him, and you know one thing led to another. We had a conversation like, what are we trying to do? Yeah, got that CBD from that nigga. You know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Squeeze Squeeze was rap rapping at the time. And I was producing. I was like, man, I need, I need artists. You know what I mean? Squeeze was like, I need a producer. And, and we just ended up, you know, working together. Right. Um, <laughs> and everything just been downhill ever since. So, what track you do for Rifleman? Uh, we got a couple tracks. Uh, we got uh, this is what I do, uh, with him and Squeeze on it. Uh huh. Um, we we're coming out with a new song, Shake. Um, you know, be available on all streaming platforms. Go check it out. Oh yeah. Um, what else? Uh. We did uh we did a collab with a, a Latin artist, uh Polo Polo Rapero, you know that's how you say his name. I don't know. Polo the rapper. Yeah, Polo the rapper. That's yeah. how you say like, how, to, how you say it again. Polo el rapero. Polo the rapper. Polo el rapero. Rapero. Polo el rapero. El rapero. Yeah. <laughs> Polo the rapper. He uh he's a big el uh, rapero. <laughs> You getting there? You gotta practice a little bit more. Ah, <laughs> nigga, that's that thing, nigga. Boy, that's that, boy, that's that, boy, that's that Dallas shit, nigga. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Paul. Well, man, shoot, yeah, shout out, man, two times, man. Yeah, the uh, rapper, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah the I, rapper. I said it, did I? Yeah, yeah, I got it that time, did I? <laughs> got me fucked up, nigga. What the fuck you think this is? <laughs> Oh, ah, oh, man, this bitch better go viral, nigga. Y'all yeah, yeah. better. Playing with me on YouTube, man. Y'all baby, y'all better stop playing with me, man. I'm coming for all y'all, man. I'm coming for all y'all on YouTube. <laughs> hey, hey, Bobo Luciano. I'm coming through. I'm coming through. I'm coming through. I'm coming through. <laughs> Shout out my nigga Super Tight. You know what I'm saying? Bobo, that's my nigga. Hey, 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 hey. Boss talk one on one. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> you and Jamaica over there, man. Y'all doing y'all thing, man. I'm coming through. I'm coming through. I'm coming through, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to all the podcasts and, and, and you know yeah, what I'm shout saying. Out to all podcasts man, shout out man. to every lad one of them, man. I love my city, man. Nigga, yeah, we man. gonna turn it up. You know what I'm saying? Turn it up. You know yep. what I'm saying? Like, man, man, like, man, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Man, twisted black. I'm a fool with it. I'm a fool with <laughs> yeah. it. Man, I'm gonna smoke my weed. No, yeah, boy, hold on. <laughs> yeah, twist the black boy say. Yeah. Another bitch, he done hooked up a gun amazing. You see, he done hooked up a gun amazing. You know what I'm talking? I'm talking about that mm -hmm. tornado boy say. Yeah. It's going down. You know what I'm saying? We lit. You know what I'm talking about? We finna man, we finna bring one home. You know what I'm saying? Dallas got a lot here. Don't get it twisted. 
Mm-hmm. But we finna bring we finna bring it home. You know what I'm saying? I think Atlanta been holding it, but I just see it. This this uh, this my prediction. Dallas finna take this bitch by storm. Oh yeah. I, Cause everybody they, it's it's so much it's so much talent out here, mm-hmm. and now everybody's starting to get focused. They starting everybody really about their business now. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it, it's it's finna get real. Yeah, finna get real. So the production. What what is your production style? No no no. Blowfly. Yeah. How you getting introduced to Blowfly? I can't cause that's one of the that right there. That that was one of the ones. He done wrapped them with the best of them. Yeah. From eight ball to all of them, really. Yeah, all the like greats. He done ran, he done ran through them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And everybody gave me to say that boy right there, that boy raw. Yeah. So how you hook up with Bowfly? Cause I so, can have him back up here too. He coming back. Yeah, so uh so I met Blowfly at uh at the studio in MediaTek. Uh, me and Squeeze were working on a word paint album and um he was uh, he was invited to to be on one of the track through Rifle Man, uh-huh. so so Rifle uh, invited him out, and um, and yeah, I mean we we ended up uh, working together in the studio, and, and that's how I met him, and uh, I remember meeting him. I he he's larger than life, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that boy right there, he, he he has such a such a strong presence about him, but it was cool because he came correct, and he's actually the first artist I ever had to do the one take like all the way through like on some Eminem stuff bro. Yeah. he just got in the booth did his thing and 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 like got out and, and that was it I was like okay cool because <laughs> because most artists like you know that I've worked with in the past I you know it's a few takes so we got to punch in and stuff like that but um or you know we got to write stuff down but he already had it what in his head what, what he was going to say and it was pretty dope he was ready to go oh yeah he was ready to go ready to go all about business yep. all about business ready to go because yep. you know anytime somebody puts you on the spot you're ready to go yeah and his cadence yeah. is, is crazy man i never heard a voice uh like blowfly before so right it was dope yeah dope experience yeah man, have you ever listened to any of his old music oh yeah definitely oh yeah yeah the boy say shout out blowfly yeah blowfly man you coming back through the seat mm-hmm. like i told you Lit podcast, we coming. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. You too. <laughs> you better give me my play. <laughs> For you, real. You too. You tripping, man? You too. Done took, took my monetization and it made me have to work back oh, to get man. get it back. You know oh, what I'm saying? On, but I'm coming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I got I got my monetization back three times in a row. You know how? Because I had monetization back. In the early 2000s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. You know, I had it then. Then they came up with this rule about, oh, you need certain such subscribers and certain such watch time. Of, yeah. So I had to work up to get my monetization then. Then I stopped doing my little podcast for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I took a little break. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because, you know, I had to enjoy the fruits of, la- of my labor. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Even though I was homeless. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't going to talk about that. We ain't going to talk about that. We, we were all homeless in this motherfucker. Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, some real talk. But they took my stuff, and I came back, and I got it back. Yeah. Nice. So <laughs> I'm due for a YouTube play. <laughs> can, get, get a, can we get a round of applause? Yeah, man, get a round of applause. Here. Matter of fact, you know what? You show sure right. Let me go. I ain't even got no... I don't be using no round of applause over here, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you they looking at something, man. Nah, I don't even be having my template, man. I got one right here. There, 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 there we go, right there. Yeah. You got a round of applause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Lift Loud TV, you know what I'm saying? Lit Podcast, you know how we do it. You know what I'm saying? Like and subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Hit that yes, bell when it go ding, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yes, and get them notifications. <laughs> nah, <Yep. but. laughs> nah, that's what you got to do, man. Man, that's what it's say, like, man. They ain't finna turn me into no robot. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, turn me to no robot too. That boy Charles the White, he done mastered this boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. shoot, he, he already know what to do. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. messed up sometimes. I gotta, you know what I'm saying, kind of you know, manipulate my titles. You know what I'm saying? Just to even get the views that I do get. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to all the ones that view. Shout out the ones that keeping it real. The ones that's always in the comments. You know what I'm saying? And liking and sharing my yep. videos and doing the remix. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all do the same and support my boy Cruz. So, yes, what's sir. your production style like? Um, I don't know, man. I can't really describe it. It's just whatever comes to mind, whatever I'm feeling. Right. Um, sometimes I hear certain instruments, and I gotta, you know, make sure I, I I put those or, or I just take what I what I've learned from um, music theory in, in in school, and you know, try to try to make it all cohesive. Right. 
Right. Or sometimes I start with the drums, mm. make, a, make a beat, and then lay the instruments on top. Right. Or maybe there's a song I'm hearing, and I, there's a certain part of the song I want to sample. Right. So, yeah, it's just, you know, a little right. bit of everything. Right. I would say open format. All right. Yeah. So you got, you do all genres? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's what's up. So you so you know all about time signatures? Yep. Oh, okay, you know about your three folds, your six yep. eights, and all yep. that. Okay, all, yep. right, all right, my bad, excuse me. <laughs> all right, my bad, excuse me, my nigga. It's cool, my nigga. All right, cool, cool, cool. You ain't got to be here. You ain't got to be here. <laughs> we, we non-violent over here. You know what I'm saying? Nah. So, what's your, what did you start it out doing beats in? Uh, so the first doll I used was Fruit Loops, and it was a crack version too. It, cool. it was just, it was just some. Shout out to all the crack versions. Yeah, shout out to all the <laughs> users out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all FL gang. Man, I was 14 at the time. I, yeah. I couldn't afford no $500 uh, software. Man, it was 199. Oh, you, oh, you want the sweets? Oh, oh yeah, everything. oh yeah, you want the sweet? Oh yeah, my bad. Okay, I, yeah. I want it all because I mean, he, you, you he can want get that them. producer sweet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can get. You gotta pay for all them sounds, man. <laughs> yeah, you got everything. You you get all them old techno sounds up in there. Yeah. Everything, but you make, but we made some out of it. You know what oh, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. What, what version you started out on? Man, I don't know. It was, it was an early version, to be honest. Like right. it was around 2010. So whatever was around at that time. Okay, I think fruit. I think Fruit Loop 10, Fruit Loop 11, probably around yeah, that time. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Home, you know home. I had the home uh, uh, crack version of it. Because like I, yeah, I, I yeah. just grabbed. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I used to be on Fruit Loops when it was just number like yellow, yellow lights going across. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it, and then half it was gray down yeah. there. It was a little green, grayish. You know what I'm saying? With the purple. And, yeah, and all that stuff. It, it was. Yeah. It, it was. It, I tell you like this. It was down there 16 bit. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> almost 8 bit. You know what I'm saying? Because it was all <laughs> techno. You know what I'm saying? And then you know. Um, and then we upgraded, you know what I'm saying, to like Fruit Loops, I think like three, Fruit Loops four. No, oh, okay. We got, by the time we got the four, you know, you know, three and four, you know, you had the Fruit Scratcher. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, you mix that in with acid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put the samples in there. Boop, boop, boop. My boy taught me that. Shout yeah. out, man, man, say, shout out to my boy YK, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah shout he, out YK. Yeah, shout out YK, he's taught me that. So what other dolls and stuff you were using? Uh, so then, uh, after Fruit Loops, um, I ended up getting a MacBook, and then I downloaded Logic, um, okay. and I started getting familiar with that. And Logic then, what? Uh, Logic Pro, Pro Ten. Boo! <laughs> it's okay. I get I get it a lot. I don't know what it is why people don't like Logic, but hey. <laughs> Hey, well, welcome, nigga. The Dow Wars up in here. The you know what I'm saying? Dow Wars up in here. Watch out, here comes Pro Tools. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? No, I mean, I mean, it's true. No, 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 no. All honesty, you know what I'm saying? No. Logic is what's up, you know what I'm saying? I like I like how Logic done step their game up, you know what I'm saying? They done did their thing, but... uh. I like, I mean, I like all dolls. I mean, I work for mm -hmm. Fruit Loops, you know what I'm saying? I yep. did Logic, you know, like I say, Ableton, yep. Reason, you yep. know what I'm saying? But my thing today is like, just like, well, back then too, but today really just the MPC. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I used to be a Triton baby too, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. And, and a Motif baby and, mm -hmm. and a Rolling, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that boy, that MPC, that, that bad booger. It's a bad booger, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you can go anywhere with it, you know what I'm saying? You can get your... Get, Flex, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Get it off your chest, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can battle anytime. Yeah, it's convenient. You know yeah. what I'm saying? On the go. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Then put some mm -hmm. sample somewhere and there and get some, uh, sorry, 50 cents, get some gyro with the bitches wound for my nigga. <laughs> 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 I know you can. You probably gonna get your iPad. You know what I'm saying? I can put I can put my NPC on my iPad. I got NPC. I got I got NPC on my phone. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, shout out to the NPC gang. Shout out to the Logic gang out there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Ableton gang because I am an Ableton gang. I ain't Ableton. gonna lie. I'm a, okay. I'm a push too. You know what I'm saying? You see the push right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm a push baby okay, too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm a push baby too. But you know what I'm saying? But I'm NPC gang too all the way. Yes sir. So Logic is your thing. Yeah. I uh I ended up you know sticking to sticking with Logic, but I did go to MediaTek and get certified um in Pro Tools. So. Okay, 
So that's right, that's where I got my certificate from is Pro Tools. All but right. ironically enough, I don't really be on Pro Tools a lot. I, right. I do it all on Logic. All right. No, it's cool. Yeah. I do I do like you know, I, I, well Pro Tools my uh, yeah. Yeah. Pro I Tools. like Pro Tools. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's great. It's mm -hmm. a great, great doll, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's all about what you're putting into it. That's all it's like. Yeah. All dolls are good, you know what I'm saying? Some people have that that stigma that dolls have certain sounds. Some do. I know Fruit Loops do. You can tell the beat that come out of Fruit Loops. Mm. Sometimes you can't. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what it was? I think now that I think about it, uh my boy Calvin in Houston, he used to um he used to go around the studios in Houston and like hook hook up their studios and like download all the sounds and stuff and, and, and the dolls and softwares. And uh, I remember one time I went down there to go pick up a computer, his personal computer, and, and he loaded it up with like, you know, thousands of dollars worth of sounds and, 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 and dolls and softwares. He had Ableton on there. He had Pro Tools. He had Logic. And, and he was telling me there's about um, all the sounds that he added. I think the libraries for Logic. And so I just went in there and I just started messing with all the sounds and stuff. And I, I guess I just stuck stuck with that because there was just so many sounds on, on logic that right. he that he had uh, hooked it up for me so shout out to calvin for for hooking shout out it up. Calvin. shout out to the hookup boys the boys that hook you up in the industry you know yep. what i'm saying they give you them secret weapons you know what i'm saying yeah you always gotta have that partner Cal you know calvin done done uh did a studio hookup for for uh manny fresh and, and lil wayne and, and swish house and, and screwed up click all them studios yeah he, he'd go around houston and Man, you need to hook me up with Calvin. I need him to come yeah, over I to got the you. studio. I need now because you see how I'm, you see I'm putting it together. Yeah, yeah. I need yeah. some touch up in here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He he'll help you out with the software stuff. You know yeah, what I mean? He'll hook he'll he'll hook 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 you up with the uh, the computer. You know what I mean? He'll I'm he'll not, boost it. Nah, I'm I'm, I'm rich. So I need a legit girl. I I, 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 I oh, can't. Okay. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't have crack versions, you know what I'm saying? No, no, no. Because I cause I do YouTube tutorials sometimes and stuff like that, so yeah. I don't need them coming taking. <laughs> no, yeah, a lot of the stuff that he hooks you up with it is legit. So, I ain't okay. worry about no crack. Okay, cool. Okay, well then, okay, then we need to talk. Yeah, hook me up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right. So, well, <laughs> since you talking all that, you know what I'm saying? You doing that logic stuff? You know what I'm saying? You keep throwing this logic in my face. You know what I'm saying? You know, because I, I get down with logic, yeah. but today. You know what I'm saying? For you, I got a birthday present for you. It ain't even your yeah. birthday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you said you older, so they damn sure ain't no goddamn uh uh well, what's the what's the boys uh what's, what, the, what not the Ken Seattle, what's for the boys? We don't got nothing. Y'all ain't got nothing? No. Nah. How in the hell y'all have a motherfucking Ken Seattle for the girls and the boys ain't got nothing? Because boys haven't changed up like what I mean. Man, don't y'all go don't y'all got a rough man. I don't nah, know. Rough. Ain't y'all a man at twelve or something like that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's over there in Mexico, Mexico. Over here in America know, is right? different, huh? You get your ass whooped over here. You're thinking you a grown ass man. Pick <laughs> that ass up. I don't you know, think man. you what? Boy, you what? <laughs> <laughs> but today, oh no, nah, I'm finna uh I'm finna pull this, you know what I'm saying? Hey, NPC ain't sponsoring me. You know what I'm saying? But NPC, I need to sponsor. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Everything on here legit. I bought everything, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still waiting on my NPC three. Uh uh uh, Vader. You know what I'm saying? What's up with my Vader, man? Everybody waiting on that Vader, baby. All right, so okay, I'm gonna okay. take care of this right here. Already. That's my baby right there. You know what I'm talking about? That's that's my baby right there. Okay, okay. <coughs> it's my first time using this, so it's your first time using it. No judgment. No no judgment. <coughs> you got in here. Okay, okay. Yeah, take your time. Man, I'm lit. You know what I'm saying? He ain't even smoking with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here, got down here, about to die. You know what I'm saying? But that's all right, because like I say, it's... Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's more for me, God damn it. Yes, Shout sir. Out. And you did you did stuff for Quint Black? I mean, are you messing with Quint Black, too? Uh, no. No, Quint Black? Okay, all right. All right. Who else will have you You got in your arm? Uh, your no repertoire? Yeah, on your web, that's why you're there cooking up. Uh, man, I've done I've done stuff with uh, Azariah Slim, T Squeeze, of course. Um, Azariah Slim, yep, that boy right there. That's that, that boy. Say that's another uh, underrated rapper right there. That boy right there, the boy. I'm talking about ism. Yep. You know what I'm saying? 
And good one right you there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking no telescope, but I'm talking prisms. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that boy right there. That boy say for real. Shout out Azariah Slim. Who else you got? Um, or who you want to work with? Uh, definitely. Uh, uh who I want to work with uh, would be uh, Mr. Pookie, and uh. That's who I got up next, and then um, you know, because he's a Dallas legend, right? You remixing, and, um, you doing a remix to, yep, right. sampling, oh, sampling his, uh, sampling, yeah, yeah. Y'all stay tuned, man. Oh, yeah, you know y'all stay Coming tuned. Soon. Shout out Pookie, you know what I'm um, saying? Paul Wall, you know, what I mean? Wall. trying to do some, trying, trying to do something with him, you know, because he, he's just a legend in Texas in general. So, right. So I grew up listening to to all them boys. Um, I want to do something with Mike Dean, you know what I mean? Uh, co-produce a track with him or something like that. I think that'd be cool. Ooh, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Nah, he brought up my. Wait a minute. What you know about Mike Dean, man? Yeah, man. man, what you know about Mike Dean? Man, you don't know nothing about no Mike Dean. Man, get, get out of here, man. Get up out of here, man. You don't know nothing about no damn Mike Dean. I'm gonna tell you that right now, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm the only nigga that can like Mike Dean around this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, what the fuck going on around this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That always been my Mike Dean always been my number one since back in the nineties. You know what I'm saying? Like even yeah. before then, even then, even when even Mike Dean, even when he was with Selena. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I man, I've been following Mike Dean whole career. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. his plug in career, everything. Like, shoot, I I, I got I think I got a couple of plug uh both his plug ins up in there now. Okay. So who your who your favorite? Okay, all right, cause he's an engineer and producer. Yeah, cause he's one. He's he's my he's he's my top. He's number one, far as engineer and producer for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Plus I got other producers. I ain't gonna tell y'all that. I'll tell you that on another time. We talk about you. So, <laughs> but I, <laughs> yeah, we talk about you. But my other, my second one is Ken Lewis. What you know about Ken Lewis? I don't know nothing about. It. You don't know nothing about Ken Lewis, man. He turn you on Ken Lewis. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, Big Night. You know what I'm saying? You need to go check that out. Yeah. I think I like that. I, I think I like that too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, so I just hit record, right? Well, you can press um Yeah, you can press I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to record an eight. Yeah, eight okay. bar real quick. All right, well, okay, go back to your menu. How do I do that? You, Press menu. Menu. All right. All right. Now go back to press menu again. Main mode or menu again? Yeah, press main mode. My bad. Main mode. Okay. There you go. Now you see up there, you see four bars right there. You can give yourself yep. eight. Change it to eight. Yep. Oh, you already did. Yep. Okay, yep. now you press uh dub. Press instead of instead of pressing record, press overdub. Overdub? And yeah, and it'll give you a uh, three count in. Okay. All right, you press you and press play. Where's my metronome at? Metronome right there. Mm -hmm. Is it on? Oh, yeah, okay. it's on. So just press play. Right here? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Let's try that again. Just try it again. Just press undo at the top. Right, right here? There. Yeah, uh -huh. just press undo. There you go. Now press overdub. And then press play. Okay. In my first time using this. Nah, you uh, good, man. We on the spot in the NPC live. You know what I'm talking about? How do I erase what I already did? Undo at the top. Mm -hmm. So you got it again? Hey, no, nah, it should be already done. And you can press play to hear, press the regular play to hear it back. But you should, but you can be back like this. So, so you, so like it, you see, you can press that and get back. Oh, okay. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's, it's over here at the six bar. How do I start it from, from the so, top? So, that's how you oh, start okay. it from the top. So, I always start from the top. Like oh, that okay, okay. Until, until, you, until you stop it, and then you press record, and then that's couching in. Oh, okay. All right. Cool, cool. But, yeah. What, what, what were you saying about... uh? Oh, Kim. Yeah, Kim yeah. Lewis. He Kim Lewis, okay. Yeah, he, he's a bad mixer. Mix engineer, man, that boy right there, cold. 
That boy, that boy real cold. He got a plug in now called uh, LOL. Okay. It's a bad compressor. You need to check it out. He got also got another plug in. Um, the, uh, it's like a green hoss. I forgot what's the name of it. I got it. But it got like plants and stuff like that. You watch it grow and all this stuff like that. Yeah, this is the first. It's going down. You know what I'm saying? Live on the NPC. In this lap. You know what I'm saying? On Lit Podcast. You know what I'm saying? So, does it automatic? Does it snap or is it all just live? So you can do your tempo right here. Mm -hmm. And if it's catching on the tempo, you can take the tempo out. You see? You got your swing and everything right here. So oh, okay. Control that right here. This your whole tempo. So if you don't like what you did, you can go back and then it's clear for you. So now you can just do whatever you did over. Oh, okay. So you can just stop and then record it over. Already. You know what I'm saying? Let me try I'm, this again. I'm probably showing butt crack all over the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I done mooned all y'all. play if you press regular play it stops from where you stopped it it'll play from where you stopped stop it. play at so stop play it starts from the beginning where's that at? right there where your finger is and then so that's regular play so it's going it's going to play from where you stopped it if you, but if you go all the way to the top you know come uh right there where your finger is, come down over no yeah right there see now, what are we saying about uh, the sequencing? So, sequencing. So, you can or do this on your sequence. You can open this up and see what you got in there. Or you can also do, let's see, go back home. You can do right here, and then you can quantize whatever you need to quantize. All right. How do I quant quantize? So, how? you just turn this on. So, let's just say you in this. Let's just go there. And then it'll tell you right here to accept. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's cool. Different workflow, you know what I'm saying? But it's all right there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's in the box, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So we just trying to see the sound or something? No, so, I'm trying to just choose something else. Okay, all right, so let me show you something. So let's go here. Go back to the phone page. So let's say, for instance, you want something else, right? You see that little plus sign? Down. This one? Uh -uh. This one right here. Okay. So that right there allows you to add another. So let's say, for instance, right? See what I'm saying? So now. So what you want to do, you want to add another sound, right? Yeah, I'm trying to get a bass. All right, so if you want another bass, so let's put it on track two. Yeah. So let's go here, turn to another track, and then let's say you want a bass. All right, so now you can go here. You want it like an 808 bass? Yeah. All right, good. So let's go. Okay. Oh, okay.
again press tc at the top tc mm -hmm. okay so quantize up
I'm more of a piano.
Logic Gang in the mug, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, Death the Logic Pro, you know what I'm saying? All y'all come over here. <laughs> All y'all come over here, NPC Gang, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We show y'all what this about, you know what I'm talking about? What up, Bolo? Stop it there, you know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna stop it there, man. We gonna get back to this interview, man. So like, 
Man, like, so who so who your top engineers, man? Who your top engineers? Engineers? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm talking about, like, like mixing n- engineers. Um, and they can be producers, too. I mean, there's you know, a lot it's of... A lot of it's a lot of us like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we, that's what we do. Yeah, uh, there was a lot of people I met at uh, Media Tech, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, shout out, shout out to Garris. Yeah, um, shout out to Garris, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? saying? He, he was my, my instructor, my mentor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he's cold with it, you know, for sure. I learned a lot uh, watching him do what he do in, yeah. in the studio. Yeah, he, um, he got some nice techniques, especially for background vocals and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He's cold with it. Yeah. Um, My boy, uh, Kill Shot. You know, uh, Key Glock's engineer. He, yeah. he engineers for a lot of people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the baby and all these other cats. Um, you know, he 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 came out of media tech too. Um, and, and I like what he do. You know, what I'm saying. Um, who else? Uh, Mike Dean, of course. You know what I mean. Shout out Mike Dean. Shout out Mike Dean. Too, all them too. boys. Yeah. Uh, who else? Cold with it. Um, Long TV. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Shout out Long. <laughs> right, right, right. I appreciate it, man. Shit. I'm trying to get some brownie points. Man, man, <laughs> man I already, man. Say, man, I try to do what I do, what I do, when I do, when I do, when I do, when I be doing it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man, like, shit. Yeah. And when the my girls say, they say, he doing it and doing it and doing it. I be like, ah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, that's my song from Be Legit. Shout out Be Legit. You know what I'm saying? That's my motherfucking song. I'll be jamming that shit. But, um, oh, K Mac. Can't forget K-Mac. about K Mac. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, my boy K Mac. He did some stuff for uh, Nemesis. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Nemesis, like, you see, DJ Snake is a bad boy too, though. DJ Snake, yep. yep. You know what I'm saying? That say, and for him to be mixing for Nemesis, you know what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. that that let you know DJ Snake was like, yeah, okay, yep. yeah, he fucking around because DJ Snake, he been around, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So man, you around that circle, man. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, man. Yeah, man, look, my little boy, I'm talking about just Kyle and Kenfo just, man. Stay like, busy. And my boy, look, my cousin, Lil James, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, golly, I'm not Shout going. out Lil James. Yeah, shout out Lil James, man. I'm not going to East Texas, man. Shit, it's over with, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm finna enjoy my, <laughs> I'm finna enjoy my little, uh, uh, what is that, Labor Day? You yep. know what I'm saying? I'm finna enjoy that. Mm-hmm. So, man, like, what's your goals, man? What's your, like, like what's your five-year goals, man? What you got on? Um... My goals, uh, when it comes to you know the studio, you know, just work with with uh, some dope artists in the studio, um, and then uh, produce for for some bigger big artists. Tell them you gonna call them back. You know what I'm James, man, I'm finna call them back. Send him, send him that uh, text. Uh, can I call you later? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> like, I'm talking about these right now. I'm like, God, Lee. He like, man, you. I know you at home. I know you. You ain't. You ain't at work. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, another goal when it comes to um, performing, uh, I like where I'm at in Deep Ellum. It's cool, but I'm oh. trying to go into bigger clubs and eventually start, um, you know, performing and DJing at like festivals and and bigger concerts and stuff. Nah, that's what's um, up. And touring the world, that, that's my goal. Nah, that's what's up, man. And do what I love, you know, different studios all around the world, and you know, concerts, festivals, all that. That's the goal. Nah, but that's what's mm-hmm. up, man. Like so. Any kids? No kids. Nah, no kids. I only, I only got uh, I only got some furry kids right now. You only got what? Furry kids. No furry kids. Yeah, yeah. Two two dogs. Two okay. pit bulls. All right. Whoa, pit bulls. Yep. Okay. I got a bully. I got an XL. Yep. Yep. Sure. I got a man. I got a lab husky and oh, okay. a, and Shih Tzu. Hey. Goddamn. Got man. a whole zoo. And I got something else. I was a, a Yorkie or something around the mother. Hey. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where they came from. I just, all I know. <laughs> They're here. Yeah, they here. They just <laughs> motherfucker dropped out of the sky one day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, for real. So, like, say, so, so, you you listen to, um, to, uh, what's it called? Uh, Rich, uh, Rich Greedy. Rich Greedy. Yep. Shout out Rich Greedy. Shout you know out Rich Greedy, man. Um, that boy, his music, I don't know, man. They don't be, I don't know. I don't know. They they need don't sleep it's on that boy. Yeah, yeah. They need don't sleep on that boy. I like his mm-hmm. style. You know what I'm saying? Who else you be on? You you be on uh, OT uh, OTR uh, uh, OTR uh, OT Mexican mm-hmm. Mexican OT. Yeah, Mexican OT. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. Shout out Mexican OT. Yeah, he doing this thing. He doing this thing. Who else you be on? Peso Peso. Actually, peso, peso. he's gonna be performing, or he already performed, right? Uh, what was it? On 
was it Saturday? No. I know uh, Rifleman's supposed to do a show with him. Okay. Um, I think it was on Saturday. Okay. Yeah. All right, shit. Yeah, shout out Peso Peso. I, yeah, I know that. Yeah, shout out Peso Peso. I know they out here doing their thing because I know they got some stuff going on in Austin too. Mm -hmm. Right now, that little open mic stuff or whatever they got yep. going on, that's jumping right now. Like it's 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 it's, it's coming back. It's like it's, it's it's more things to do all year round down there. So shit. Oh, yeah. We need to take advantage of it, man. But um. I want to say, man, I want to say, uh, who been your support factor? Like, who been supporting you, like, through this journey? Um, really, everybody in the circle, you know what I mean? Okay. Shout out to the circle um, right. with the guys. They, they've, been, they've been pretty um, pretty fun to work with, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, just uh, just encouraging each other and supporting each other in what we do, right. you know, for the love of music. And, and yeah, I would say. You who, so who? So out of, out, of, out of the crew, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to ask this. Who the hardest to work with? Who the hardest to work with? <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Who you got to get the most guidance to? I can't throw anybody under the bus like that. Man, man. No, we ain't throwing uh, nobody under the bus. We know what I'm saying. Who, uh, who, who, the, who, who the knucklehead? <laughs> man, they, there really isn't. Everybody's pretty good about, because, uh, you know, as a producer, you, you know, uh -huh. I'm, I'm supposed to, like, you know, kind of coach the right. artist through the session too because right. i'm trying to bring the best out of the artist and, and everybody's pretty Facts. good about okay. working working with me on and what i hear and telling them you know do it this way mm -hmm. or try it this way and then you know they they they, they follow yeah you so you so you you got interview training interview training no yeah. i don't think so i mean it's it my like first it, interview i can't tell because you should have dropped dodge that question like a motherfucker <laughs> 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 I know it's you, T Squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out T Squeeze. Shout out T Squeeze. I know it. Nigga, I know it's you. <laughs> we fall asleep all in the studio. And it's like, man, you ain't even laid the hook yet. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we're going to come back tomorrow. I want to talk about crew. What you got to eat in the kitchen? Oh, man. We did three, two, one. Good, we'll do that. We go. We ready to go. We <laughs> and we back. Hey, we back. I ain't even cutting this out. <laughs> <laughs> Already, yeah. We are gonna keep it real. Keep it trail. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Keep it trail. Let right. let them people know. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no smoking smoking screens or what do they call it? Yeah, no, yeah. no, nah, this ain't no smoking mirrors. Smoking mirrors, yeah. You know but um, but yeah, what I was saying, I was I was walking the halls one day at uh, Media Tech, and they were doing a reality TV show, and I guess the director. Um, he was like, you go here? And I had my backpack on and everything. And then I was like, yeah. And he was like, yeah, you you producer? I was like, yeah, I'm producing. He was like, perfect, man. We, You know what I'm saying? We were looking for, for producers and stuff. And so I walked into the room, and like there was like at least 50 people in the room. And I was like, oh, shit. I didn't know what I was walking into. And uh, my boy Unique was there. Um, I guess he was like one of the judges or something like that. And uh, I walked in, and then we ended up, you know, teaming up uh, for, for, for a little... Uh, it was like a song competition, so I ended up producing with like two art, two other artists, and uh, Unique was the executive producer. Like he was just overseeing the whole team, and and yeah, that's how we met. And uh, ever since then, you know, we've been working working on tracks and stuff. And yeah, and I, I knew him before he was actually Paul Wall's DJ, so I, I think that's pretty cool. Oh no, that's what's up, dude. And and then when I found so out, you got a relationship, relationship. Yeah, 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 he was cool, man. He's he's the bro, man. I remember the first time. What really showed me, uh, showed me love was when we were in the studio, man. Boy pulled out a whole bottle of tequila and the whole uh, bag of weed. He was like, what, "What you want?" You know what I mean? I was like, "I was like, oh shit, I ain't never had nobody do that <laughs> before in the studio." Usually it's me bringing in the sip, yeah. the drink, and yeah, and the yeah. Smoke, he said, "Oh yeah, yeah, he, somebody he match me finally." You yeah. know what I'm saying? Y'all better make sure y'all be matching my boy Screw Crew. You know what I'm saying? Turn them up, turn them up, goddamn yeah. me. Yeah, I, I show love back. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Turn them up. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn me. So, <laughs> like. But yeah, shout out Unique. Yeah, shout out DJ Unique. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, two times. You know what I'm saying? We up in this thing. It's long records. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like, subscribe. You yes, know what I'm saying? Yes, and all that, everything. You know what I'm saying? So, before I get to my, my, my last question, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's been difficult, you know what I'm saying, for you through your journey? as being a producer and this and being a producer and um and a DJ, you know what I'm saying? Like what's been some hurdles you've been trying to overcome I mean that you have overcome. 
Um, I ain't never been asked that question before. That's an interesting question. Um, I guess the the biggest or the, the most difficult thing has just been um establishing myself, I guess you can say, in uh in the scene and like you know just people giving me a chance, you know what I mean, or opportunity. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, what I'm saying, are a little hesitant to work with me because I don't I don't look the part, you know what I'm saying. I right. feel like. I feel like uh, some people think I can't make no hip hop beats or I can't do no like EDM. I feel like everybody thinks I just do like Latin music, and right. that's it. but but now nah, uh, all that to say, yeah, it's just been you know uh, one of those things where just trying to find um, my niche, you know what I'm saying, and um, have people you know uh, give me give me a chance to you know, work with them or you know DJ at different spots and stuff like that. But uh, once you gotten through that hurdle, I feel like they seem like, you know, what I really do have to offer. Right. You yeah. got to prove. You got to, you know. got to prove myself, yeah. yeah you got to prove yourself. You know what I'm saying? I think mm-hmm. that's anywhere in life. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know what I'm saying? But one thing you do, you never give up. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And you always give it your all. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's, that's what you always do. You know, and I, and I would keep a level head. You know what I'm saying? You don't always have to. Follow, you know what I'm saying, the crowd, you know what I'm saying? You can always stand out and be yourself. You can always be different, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with it because different always bring, you know what I'm saying, creativity, you know what I'm saying? And creativity always bring new life, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They'll forget that, you know what I'm talking about? Yep. Nah, for real. So this is my question I always ask everybody. So listen up, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready. If you was in my shoes, what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? Uh, what's my favorite food? Oh, that nigga eat it, but that nigga. <laughs> damn, where, where it go? Okay, what's your favorite? What's your favorite food? Buffalo wings. Buffalo wings. Yeah, that's all you eat. That's my shit. <laughs> nigga, buffalo wings. Oh yeah, you kidding me? That <laughs> we're from where though? Shout out all shucks. <laughs> 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 where they located it? Over there off of uh, Mockingbird. Mockingbird. They got different locations. They got Big Shucks and they got All Shucks. They got different um, places out here in the DFW. Okay, you're going to have to turn me on. You yeah, man. You got to go check I, them out. I don't think I had man. that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like it used to be. It's one of them places where it done. It, it's like, oh, so uh, it's like Rudy's? It's like Rudy's, yeah. <laughs> man, I remember. Oh, man, that's another good spot. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, man. What you say? They say, oh, it's like Rudy's. <laughs> yeah. Man, I wish you could. Oh, my gosh, man. Some good eats right there. Rudy's a good eat. Yeah, I remember the good. first time I had Rudy's, man. That shit changed my life. For changed real. your life, dude. For real. That shit was like crack one. For real, I'm bro. I'm talking about, man, nigga, that four-piece basket. Ooh, ooh, that wing basket, man. man. It's like, with that extra, extra seasoning, man. they don't even do it like that no more. Man, I'm telling you. And then Hall's. Then man, I'm getting hungry yeah. just thinking about it. Yeah, I'm getting about to say, you <laughs> shit, my mouth done got water in a bit. <laughs> I just fire. I can't even talk no more. <laughs> they gonna call me gumbo mouth around that bit. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, man. Buffalo wing, man. No, nah, okay. Favorite food right there. God damn, what about Buffalo. you? What's your favorite food? God damn me. That was the that was the, that was my deep question thought. <laughs> I, 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 I ain't fuck it. Shit. <laughs> we gonna roll with the buffalo wings. You know what I'm saying? But this <laughs> lit podcast. We lit. We turn up. Yes, sir. Right. With my favorite food. <laughs> damn, nobody never asked me that. <laughs> we asking all the uh, questions today. Nah, you want you really want to know? Yeah, you really know? Okay, I'm finna be I'm finna be honest with you, and don't laugh at me. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Mexican tacos. What kind of taco? Like the hard shell or the soft shell? It's uh, no, like street tacos. No, street tacos, street, greasy up, motherfuckers with oh, okay. cilantro and your motherfucking saute okay. onions on that bitch. You know okay. what I'm saying? I'm talking about motherfucking lingua, nigga. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm yeah. talking about my noodles. Like you know barbacoa what I'm saying? Shit. Nigga said baba core. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Nigga pasta. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. What, what are you talking about? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what you know what saying? Okay. Like, well, 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 I know. I know, <laughs> I know my order. <laughs> I know for real when you say pasta, a lot of people don't even know what that is. Man. <laughs> hey, that's pork. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Shout out to all little, my mother. You put pineapple on the pasta? Yeah. 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 Shit. Goddamn. You put sauce on your taco? Yeah. Yeah. I put all the sauce. Green sauce, red sauce. All that. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. I need my jalapeno. You Mexican? I need my jalapeno. <laughs> nah, <laughs> they done not me. <laughs> Honorary. Uh, uh, shit, hell. Certified. Nigga, I'm, ne- I'm Mexican. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like my nigga, you know my Tupac. Like my nigga Tupac. Nigga, shout out to my uh, my, to my uh, niggas, man, my Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm Mexican. I'm, I'm Mexican. You know what I'm saying? Shit, because I love them tacos, my nigga. I like, and my noodles. 
You know what I'm saying? What? I love my noodles. You what? know what I'm saying? But For the real? right my noodles, one that got okay. the shrimp, that got the uh, sausage at the bottom, okay. that got the, you know what I'm saying? You already know okay. it, what else come in there. You okay. know it's chitlins for everybody that don't okay. know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and I like them when they have the, the dumpling in there too. You oh, know what okay. I'm saying? See, a lot of people don't know. See, see, all y'all out there that be faking with these, you know what I'm saying, these Mexican restaurants out here with that fake ass menudo, <laughs> y'all need to move around, you know what I'm saying, with that cheap ass shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey, you nah, know, I grew up, you know so what I'm saying? So like, where 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 from? Where you get your where, where you get your tacos from? Man, I, uh 24-7 over there on Hampton. Okay. Yeah, 24-7 tacos right over to Hampton, okay. right behind CVS. You know Shout, out seven. You know Shout out 24-7. You know what I'm saying? Shout out 24-7. You know what I'm saying? I used to bump with Lil' C's on Jefferson, Ooh. man. But shit, hell, man. They, Caesar's hell, they, Tacos. Yeah, Caesar's Tacos. That's yeah, Caesar's Tacos. That's yeah, my little Caesar, little Caesar's Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> you know, you know, man. They, they should have named it Caesar. Goddamn, that's all we know is Lil' Caesar. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, but you right. Caesar Tacos. I used to fuck with them over there. You know what I'm saying? Off of Jefferson over there and shit. But, okay, uh, okay. But, you know. What's up? You know, what? Man, you can't miss me, man. You, know you invited to the carne asada. Mm. Yeah, invite me, you know what I'm saying? Invited I mean, to the cookout. You know what I'm saying? Like, I damn be, I'm, I'm talking about everything going down, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I, I like I like all foods, though, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, like, I'm what you say. I'm a connoisseur because I also like, you know, African food, too. Okay. You know I ain't what I'm saying? Nigerian that. food, you know, like food, food, the stew. I ain't never had that. You know what I'm saying? I like Jamaican food. I like the jerk chicken. Oh, yeah, you know jerk chicken go hard. Like, yeah. I, 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 I mean, oh, so, I'll... I'll uh, out there, I'm glad you said that. In Florida, I had uh, jerk chicken out there in Florida. And you know, there's a lot of uh, island islanders yeah. out there mm -hmm. in uh, Florida. Man, that's some of the best jerk chicken I ever had man, out there. I'm talking about man, you boys, man. I it like, was some, it man. was some hole in the wall too. I went, yeah. Yeah. man. I was just that's, like, that, you know, you got that, man. That, that mean mama back there cooking. Yeah, jerk you know chicken. What I'm saying she back there cooking and she gonna make sure it's right. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. I like neck bone. I mean, uh, oxtail, neck oxtail. bone stuff okay. like that. And then, like, I can go over there. I like Hindu food. I eat some of that. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, like curry? Yeah, uh, yeah, curry, all that. But okay. some but some Indian foods I don't eat. You know what I'm saying? Some of this, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I eat the goat. You know what I'm saying? Goat and the rice. You know? So, yep. you know, hey. You A little know, bit of everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm from okay, the clear. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When I wake up in the man, morning, we gotta or, get we gotta get a bite to eat sometime, yeah, man. We gotta get a lunch meeting going on or something. Nah, for real. When I, I'm from the cliff, when I wake up in the morning, when I wake outside, I got a blunt just like this. And when I look to my right, <laughs> nigga, it's a motherfucking me goat, nigga, some chicken nigga, and everything <laughs> running around next door my next door night. You know what I'm oh, saying? Okay. That my chicken be rolling around the road. <laughs> yeah, that's that's old cliff for real, man. No, I had a not, huh? I had a neighbor, man. He had a whole pig walking around the front yard. <laughs> he had he had a pig. He had I don't know, he had a goat. Yeah. Uh, apparently he had like I don't even know what he had in the back. Some some bird in the mm -hmm. back. I don't even know. See, that's some, how they used to be in the West. Them gator boys. They used to have all type of exotic animals and shit over there. Man, man I remember one nigga. I remember one time the nigga when the tiger got loose around this boy. You oh, know it was man? geese, man. That boy <laughs> had some geese in it. I was like, man, that my front my front neighbor, uh, front door neighbor, man. He had two geese, man. Them motherfuckers was standing in the road and not let any cars pass by, bro. They were yeah. <laughs> they were checking traffic. I was like, oh, man, yeah, 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 you can't, you geese. can't, yeah, you can't, you can't no. run them over. You know what I'm saying? You going, nigga? You going to jail? You know what I'm saying? Charles, somebody say, nigga, you going to jail, nigga? Oh, nigga. <laughs> Oh, shout out my front door neighbor, man. He yeah. had a whole zoo, man. I didn't have right. to go to no zoo, man. That shit right. was right there. Already, man. <laughs> but so before you go out of here, because you and I already took my last question and made it a food question. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was a deep thought question. But I want you to check out some of my I want you to check out this track I'm working on, man. Tell already. me what you're thinking about it. You know what I'm for saying? Sure, before for we sure. get out of here. You know what I'm saying? It goes a little something like this. Podcast. I appreciate y'all coming in, you know what I'm saying? Tuning in with me, you know what I'm saying? You know how we do it. You know what I'm saying? We just fuck around, we just yeah. get lit. Get to know each other, you know what I'm saying? Check me out. Look harder there. We appreciate it. Watch this switch up, though. Watch this switch up. Watch it. Man. Okay, okay. Now watch this switch up. Here we go. And you know who I hear on here, man? I hear I hear some money back, yo. Ooh. I hear Big X. Ooh, Big X the plug. Ooh, shout out Big X. You know what I'm saying? You know that nigga. Oh, arr, 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 arr. Yeah, it's hard right here. Yeah. Uh Mexican OT. Oh man, I'm about to kill this one right here. 
best in OT. Come on. You know what I'm saying? You already got Cal Beats, man. Here, I got one. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Yeah, I got I one. I like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We about this bitch. Low you know what I'm saying? Man, both fly. Kill both fly. Hey, hey. hey. Both fly. Hey, say both fly. We're gonna have to get in the studio. No, we're gonna have to get in this motherfucking lab. We're gonna have to make this happen. <laughs> hey, say, like I said, nigga, I'm coming, man. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody hey. tuning in. You know I just like the clown. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you, Cruz. You know what I'm saying? Like, want, appreciate nah, for you real, too, bro. Man. I'm going to have to have you here. back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Shout out to all, everybody who be tuning in to be keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that just done came through. Man, I got a, man, I got a whole new list of people that done came through and blessed the podcast. Ray T. You know what I'm saying? That boy SEJ froze only. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, man, the list go on. You know yep. what I'm saying? The list go on. So, I got more. Stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tell me who I should have next up on the platform. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tell me who I should have next up on the platform. And I'm finna get them up here. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna get deeper in them streets. But right now, man, I gotta go through this Dallas streets. You know what I'm talking about? And we about this biatch. Block up to my feet. Hurt the slayer. Yeah. Better yeah. off the worst. Took the good with the bad. Yeah. Yeah. I don't took the bad. Yeah. Never come yeah. back. Yeah. I don't yeah. took the road down. Where to kill my 